All right, what's up everybody? If you're just tuning into this channel for the first time, I'm Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, bringing you another property tour. So now we are here in Inspirata, which is a master plan community out here in Henderson, Nevada. If you take a look in Google Inspirata, it's the one, one of the fastest growing master plan communities throughout the nation. Now this model right here is 2,993 square feet. It is a two story, right? Four bedrooms, master, bed, master bedroom downstairs with a game room. You have two and a half baths, two car garage. You do have an option to five to six bedrooms if you want. Now, let's come over here. Let's take a look. See what we got on the side of the home. Look, so you got one condenser, one huge condenser. Uh, you got wood eaves, okay. Again, you got your power box, your cable, you got your gas. Love the uh, the pavers. It's always nice to have pavers. I was told in uh, other uh, cities, a lot of builders doesn't include the pavers. However, if you take a look at right here, this model. $29.93, you do have an option. If you did the upgrade to the six bedroom, then now you have a little bit more square footage. It's 3303. Now the landscaping that you see here is not the exact same landscaping that you're gonna get. So also we, when you sign the contract with the builder, you're gonna have something similar, may not be exactly the same. Also how the model is, you're not getting how the model is, but Take a look at this. Watch how gorgeous this is. We're gonna walk right into this. Boom. Isn't this gorgeous? Wow, this looks like a 10 foot slide. Uh, it's still an eight foot slide. My estimation today, or estimating today, is not really on point. Now, <clears throat> these lots right here are normally about uh, 5,500 square feet. Now you're gonna be paying a lot premium, starting off around about $12,000 per lot premium. Here's the thing, uh, this builder is really not getting giving away any type of incentives. And the reason why is because if you don't buy it, somebody else will buy this place. This is a hot track right now. I had a client that bought in the first phase. Um, they're gonna do very, very well in this community now this series is the reserve series within this series this collection you have a total of five uh, models to choose from I mean there's so much that could be done with this backyard I definitely would do a cover patio let me know if that's something that you would do a cover patio As you can see we got the nice strip view over here All right now, if you come out to this track, you got 17 models to choose from, right? 17. However, that's a lot of models to be choosing from. Now, let's go right back into the house here. So as we come in, we close this vinyl slide. This one slides pretty good, but the door is pretty heavy. Definitely needs to be greased up. We take a look. We have your floor. Um, Laminate flooring, wood planks. I do like that tongue and groove. Now, one of the questions I get all the time, should you run it the flow with the door or sideways, right? It's all personal preference. It really does not matter, okay? We have nine foot ceilings on this one. Orange peel texture. You have a four inch baseboard here. I definitely would need uh, some lights for sure. So here would be your dining room table. However, this is what I want you to take a look. When you're designing your home and you're having electrical, you see these two can lights right here? You have an option to add right, a pre-wire for your chandelier. But let's just say if you bought this table, this table would have to be moved on over here and it's just too close to this island here. You see what I'm talking about? So it's not literally centered. So when you do your electrical, you better make sure it is lined up. It should have been lined up on this window right here. 
I'm not saying what they're doing is wrong. It's just this table does not fit the way it lines up. Okay. Now let's take a look at this gorgeous kitchen here. I do love the grays. It's not a full overlay cabinet. Um, it is a more of a modern type of cabinet. So this is upgraded. Now, this is where I say take a look with this cabinet here because now you did a 42. See how solid this is. Some builders, right, will have this and it's not solid. So this one is not your best cabinet. So you can you can be sold something that looks good but it's not quality and you're paying top dollar for it. Here's the uh, configurations and options. Keep in mind on the configurations and options. Uh, I will have that on the link in the description below so that way you can see exactly uh, what is going on. Now if we take a look, this is your uh, pantry. Pantry is not that huge, however, let's take a look. If we, we have the garage here, what's on this side right here? So this is just your laundry room right here. So you have your washer, dryer, this is a gas dryer, okay? Now back to the, uh, the kitchen here, we have uh, half inch quartz countertops. The uh, veins were upgraded on here, which is really nice. Now we're gonna just come back down over here. Okay. Off to the right, we have a half bath. Let's see if we can get these lights turned on here. You definitely can upgrade on the uh, toilet. I think that's only a 12 inch or 16 inch on that. Definitely would upgrade. Uh, you have your pedestal sink. I do like the fact that there's a window there. Now coming back down here, this is your two-car garage. However, on the two-car garage, you want to make sure you can actually fit two cars in here. Coming down here. Uh, we're going to come down to the master. So we have a master downstairs and also a master upstairs. You do have that option too as well. Okay. Uh, this master right here is about, I think it's 13 by 15 on this one. Again, I will have a link on the description below so that way you can see exactly what is going on. Now this one does come uh, pre-wired, the ceiling fan, okay? So now, as you can see, the tile has transitioned, or flooring has transi transitioned into tile. So now we have a nice fiberglass pan. Let me know if you prefer tile or a fiberglass pan. Now you can see at like how pretty much how dark it is here. You got your cabinets. You got your petrophenia again. You got your brush nickel. Medicine cabinet. I'm gonna back on out here. This is your toilet or your water closet. Okay. Now, I think the uh, the bigger master is actually upstairs versus the one down here. But this would be great for like your, you know, your parents that they live in with you or kids. So let, let's go take a look upstairs. So the two panel doors have been upgraded on here. So we have some storage underneath the uh, staircase. Now let's go upstairs. Uh, sounds like it feels like you have an eight pound pad on here so it's pretty comfortable but man we got to get some lights on here because it is pretty pretty dark let me hit these lights on here there we go so here is your loft you do have an option to upgrade to another bedroom but I think I would leave the loft here let me know in the comments below this loft is a little bit bigger than 20 by 20 here for sure i love how the master bedroom is separate from the others one thing that i would probably do instead of this pony wall here i would do a custom railing so that way you get that open feel all right down here we have a bedroom and this bedroom is a really decent size i'm liking this bedroom
this bedroom is probably 13 by 13 or maybe even a little bit bigger here there's your walk-in closet <laughs> Tub shower combo, fiberglass, brush nickel again. You got your frameless mirror. Now be careful if you take those off because they do glue the back piece onto it too as well. So you have your linen closet. And your attic access right here. See how dark it is? That's why it's so important to have 4K lighting. Here's your walk in closet. This is probably a good 3x8. Now let's go to the master. See what the master's all about. I would definitely put a picture right here. It'd be kind of cool. So the master's separate from the other. So this is the larger master bedroom. This is a good 20 by 20 on this one for sure. Okay. Come on over here. I want to show you how big this thing is. The view from here is gorgeous. I mean, look at this strip view right here. Isn't that magnificent? Oh my good. Look at that. It's gorgeous, right? So we got carpet transitions straight into 18 by 18 porcelain tile, which is really nice. And I love the color of the tile. To the left here, we have our water closet. We have our shower, separate tub. This is all fiberglass here. Okay, and you have a window right above. This is all Petrophenia, but the pan is fiberglass. Nice little bench. And across the way here, we have our walk-in closet. Walk-in closet is probably a good 10 by uh, I would say probably 10 by 15 feet. It's a very, very large closet, especially if you uh, double, sh double stack the shelving, you'll get more room for your clothes. Okay. Well, you guys know how we like to end this video. We're gonna run downstairs real quick. Let me know what your thoughts are about this property. If you think it's worth the asking price, could you actually see yourself living here? But most important, what I want to know is a home at this size, about 3,000 square feet in your location, in your neighborhood, what would a home like this go for? Let me know in the comments below. Other than that, I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Crusoe with Simply Vegas. And have a blessed day, guys.